her of her lure and today I have like a mini haul this is my BH cosmetics order and I'm kind of excited to share this so came in this cool red bag inside a plain brown box so I gave them like an A plus on packaging I picked up the Shanxo the remix palette I did own her first palette but the lips got a bit weird and I, like I liked it I was keen to try it again I picked up a bunch of BH cosmetic brushes I bought this and it's like a liner brush and and this is I'm super excited for this so let's get rid of this I picked up the Silver Garni no Sylvia Garni palette and I got one that's signed how amazing is that um this is just a cardboard box which I kind of like it's a bit more minimalist so we open it up and we've got a beautiful mirror so show you your reflection with the camera hello and we've got a plastic coating which we're just gonna throw that on now we've got two highlighters and 20 shades and today is gonna be my very first palette bingo honestly I, I think this is a relatively safe palette to do it with and I've been wanting to do a palette bingo I'm really excited to support Sylvia I have been watching her for maybe two years like since I first got onto YouTube and I'm like it I feel silly to be excited about this but I am I initially wasn't gonna buy it but then I saw her promoting it on her Instagram and I was like you know what I do love watching Sylvia I'm gonna buy it <laughs> so I did anyway let's get this cracking I've already put this Too Faced shadow insurance primer down the rest of the products on my face will be listed down below and I downloaded a random calculator app the other day yeah, I'm just going to screen record myself and insert that. So we're going to start it off going one to five. Can I count? Yeah, one to five. And our first shade is number seven. And that is Rosé. Number 20. Ooh, plaque. <laughs> this is unapologetic. Unapologetic. Number one, we've got Wolf. And that's the name of one of her dogs. Number five is S Club. That is the name that she calls all of her subscribers. So I guess I'm in the S Club. Number 18, Green. is hazel all right so we've got one two three four five shades i think we need one more yeah absolutely one more i got number seven again number nine all right number nine is queen and i believe she named this after her mum and these are today's shades all right, well, this is kind of what I was hoping for, a nice neutral look. <laughs> now I have to remember all the shades. I didn't think about this. Oh no. This is me being confused. <laughs> How do you do this? All right, well, I'm just gonna try and, fit, try and be good at this, but let's crack out my new brushes. And this is my pack of brushes from here. Did anyone else watch Annette's video on brushes? Because it was so good. I'll link it. It was like, go check it out. So let's go in with Wolf. And I'm just going to use this to pat it down. Oh yeah, I can get a nice amount of pigment for this. And then let's go into S Club. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I mean, the hope is to build on what we've sort of already put down. All 
I'm just gonna bring this up and around because I'm gonna bring that the hazel dark green deeper into the crease to deepen it and I want this as like a backing color I'd absolutely love to know if you also love Sylvia Garnet or are part of her S Club I followed her for a long time and I I talked about this briefly in my video the other day with the Ciate palette but I used to watch Wolfie Raps her now X and like the music video they just came out with actually iconic and I think they had one of the biggest sort of breakups that I was invested in as a viewer which was a weird thing for me but it also was one of the first times I sort of realized is that you just don't really know everything that's going on and you can't yeah you can't obsess over someone else's life when you're not friends with them and I just went with you know sending her positivity without ever talking to her because <laughs> effective maneuver I think now the lovely Annette has sent me some of the brushes that she loves I'm super excited to play with I played with one this morning and I was just like oh my god Annette is an expert when it comes to brushes so here we've got the M506 Maybe she said this was a good blendy one. So we're going to go into that shade Hazel, which is our green. But I love watching Sylvia for her makeup tips and she's just always so classy. And she's actually one of the only YouTubers I've got taken tips from. And that is using the little, I'll put a picture up, but she had a video showing her organizing her stuff and it she pointed out that she uses those stick-on removable things to hang her necklaces on and I was like oh my god this is genius I am copying it and that's actually how I store all my necklaces now and they never get tangled I love it and damn it Annette you're like a freaking genius with these brushes man I was watching Annette's video and just like I need to buy every single brush that she's talking about I need to try them all and see what she means and then incorporate it to it because it was oh, yeah it was one of those videos that made me go oh yeah this is what it all means but I'm sorry I shouldn't talk about it let's focus on the beautiful Sylvie Garni and this palette that is blending beautifully look at this green I'm a fan All right, and then so I got Rose, Unapologetic, and Queen. To still incorporate? Yeah, all right. I can do this. Let's go straight into that black, eh? See where that leads us. I'm gonna use the same brush. I've just cleaned it on my color swatcher, my brush cleaning sponge device. So I'm just gonna get this black, and we're just gonna tap it into the back into this outer corner but Sylvia always comes up with really I don't know I just I love watching her videos I really enjoyed watching her setup I've enjoyed seeing her move to LA and settle in there I love that she still is in touch with a lot of her friends from like Canada and it was so cute seeing her deliver this palette to everyone And she's one of those ones who's in the club of being a makeup artist and she used to work at MAC. And she just seems like a genuinely lovely person. She's definitely someone that I would love to meet one day. But I'm also pretty stoked with just using this palette and supporting her this way. Alright, that black's nice. That's blended in beautifully. This brush is also amazing. All right, what should we do now? I think, I feel like it's a queen and then rosé. Queen definitely sort of has to go on the inner, on the lid. This is just gonna look a bit funny otherwise. So I'm gonna try it without wetting my brush. 
and just patting it on. I don't think it really needs to be wet, but let's do it anyway because it's fun and for no other reason but that. Also, I'm obsessed with the smell of Fix Plus. I don't know why, it's just amazing. I mean, we've definitely got a bit extra bang. I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna dip into Hazel again. And I just wanna bring that a bit more center point. All right, beautiful. And then let's bring something to the inner corner. So I did notice the BH Cosmetics came with a brush similar to what Annette was recommending to put in your inner corner. And this is the 106 from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to go in with Rosé. And then let's go underneath. I'm going to go back into Hazel. I've gone to the 105 from the BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to bring this underneath my eye. I'm going to use the same brush and I just, I want, I really enjoy this color Hazel. I want it everywhere. So extremely safe. <laughs> I'm happy though. <laughs> this was a good start to a palette bingo and this palette has performed beautifully so far. I'm looking forward to playing with it more and let me just go do mascara, a little bit of liner. I'm going to do liner in my water liner and I'm probably just going to use Freak again because I've still got some left on from a look I wore this morning. And I shall be back looking a bit more polished. Thank you. I can't believe I forgot this. I forgot to put the highlighter on. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to put Opal on. Uh, it's quite glittery, but I do like that. All right, I'm on my way out. Ooh. Oh, only thing I forgot to say, I put the fly liner on and Nas Climax as my mascara and let's give a good old spray with the D slick all right I'll see you in a couple hours or mere moments <laughs> like, oh it has been a night we're about seven hours but it is like 90% humidity 30 degrees Celsius out there and I'm boiling hot. I'm sorry. I was dying to see what this blue looked like but So these eyes have been through it. I have sweated something chronic I am left impressed Damn, that's pretty good like you can still see the green there gold's gone up there. That's pretty standard but they're not bad from where we left. So I'm going to hope that the lips are not too distracting for you. I think we'll be right. Let's, let's just do, I always find swatches a bit more demonstration than anything. So let's go in. So we've got Wolf, Prince, ooh. Chanel, Obsessed, S Club, Ginger, Ooh. Rose, Goddess, Queen, October. And then this is where we get some really good girls. Sisterhood, ooh, self-love, ooh la la, wild child, 
Independent. Rebel. Underrated. Bear. Hazel. Night Owl. Oh, like a purple undertone. And unapologetic. <laughs> Going into the highlighters, we have. I guess I'll go up here. This is Libra. And Opal. Wow. It's quite a pretty selection in colours. I do quite like this. I'm happy to have it. And there's quite a lot of versatility here. Really, with the reddish, the purple, green, blues. It's got a really good, it has a really good range of colours. I'm really, I'm really happy with this. Anyway, let me know what you think of this palette. Are you thinking of get picking it up? Do you know who Sylvia Garni is? I was actually really surprised to see some of my favourite YouTubers uh, in their Will I Buy It? Not know who she was. So I would absolutely love to know your thoughts and let me know if you're picking this palette up, if you've picked it up already. Uh, were the lips too distracting? I don't know. That's a fun colour though. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate and adore you. Uh-huh.